got to watch with who you get with, you know? Like, I, for me, like, that's what I had to remind myself of, like, watch with, you know? I'm a pretty strong river, though. Like, I okay. feel like... I it's a humbling very, experience. Very weird, it is a humbling experience, though, to, to know about that. I'm going to put this obvious on spot time. But uh, yeah. it's a humbling experience to know that, like, yeah, you know, just because a chick is hot doesn't mean she could kick, she could give you every, you know she does may she you may not because i mean think what i think what you're referring to is the whole like mental part too yeah. which is which obviously the mental encompasses like the values like what do you value do you have equal values but some girls don't even know that like some th- some girls are not even aware and some of and to be honest I'm like there's some other girls who are way harder than them and i can't it's hard for me and so like there's this constant either that person's gonna break off mm-hmm. or like they're gonna have to adapt to me uh, that's good because i i know what i'm doing is like I, I don't not waste it. What's up everybody? It's your boy Tony Mosey. And I am in the heart, I believe, of Laureles. Laureles in Medellin. Medellin. But you know, Argentinians like to say Medellin. Guys, I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm in fucking Colombia. Um, I'm in Medellin, Colombia. Just have to say Medellin because I've been to Argentina. Argentina and they pronounced their two L's as a yeah. Oh, as a sh sh instead of a yeah yeah. Anyways, so we this is uh, December. Uh, this is how they spend their Christmas. Apparently, a lot of lights everywhere. This is the, like the first of many places, of course, that I'm going to document. But this is Laureles section of Medellin. Very um, hip, trendy. Yeah, a lot of restaurants, bars businesses trendy restaurants two really nice ones um yeah a lot of cool stuff let me see if i could point out some more stuff just want to point this out I know I'm getting close but still far as hell away but just to see out there all the lights obviously at this moment the phone and whatnot does not do this justice but it's super cool to see out yonder how there's uh, just uh, there's, there's more civilization over there super cool it's a Tuesday love it Medellin Loud music Quality sound and stereo Here's the metro Gate rink over here. So it's the second day here in Medellin, and I'm at the Parque de Rio. Uh, just want to take a look, see how it looks here. I, 
can't stress enough how awesome the backdrop is. If we could close in on the backdrop, this will probably be really, really cool to note. But just looking in the back, man, it's super cool. Just seeing that there's more civilization out there. I don't know. I just find it so cool to see that. But again, Parque de Rio. Seems like uh, there's a lot of places to check out. that uh, Colombia really cares about uh, its Christmas that it uh, puts together so much lighting and ornaments and just this kind of ostentatious feel that you wouldn't really get in many countries that are like this Mira, va a Ay. Apparently they say traffic is crazy, slow, all that wonderfulness. That you're better off with a motorcycle, a little motorbike.
Here on the Medellin Strip, and gosh, it is loud. It is live, it is loud, it is lit, and it's literally lit. Like lights, sounds, people out, uh, some businesses trying to outdo each other in terms of uh, 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 how loud they are. Some have really good sound systems. You can see how the bass system is as well. Some of them got some really good bass systems. Uh, but since I got here on Tuesday and today is Thursday, it's been like this every day for these past few days. And I heard it's gonna be just like this uh, throughout the whole month of December. Um, cool to see people out. I'm assuming, you know, here in not only Colombia, but South America, people value this time to hang out with friends and family, go out to eat, because eating is always obviously a very communal experience. But uh, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, people are out and they're out every day. So I'm here on the Medellin Strip and uh <laughs> wow. Míralo. Gracias. Chocolate, some strawberries, ice cream, and more chocolate. Yes. 
is my food right here. I think I got a, um, I'm already forgetting what the name of this is, but I'm blanking out. Um, but it's three rolled kind of like things. It has stroganoff in it, I guess. Um, but it's three rolled pastas. So of course you can see cheese. Uh, and I think some bolognese in there. But this is at Il Forno. Yeah, but I was afraid of bringing my vlogging camera out, even though it's a small thing, it just looks different. And I've noticed in my travels, I don't know why, but people are drawn more whenever I have that little smaller tool out versus like my phone. Yeah. The phone, I don't know why, maybe it's just because everyone uses a phone, but uh, that's why I just use this for now until maybe Guatapi might be a place. Well, first off, I wanna definitely record this here, but I'm with my friend, Ryan. Hey, <laughs> met him on the plane, super cool man, like it's just a uh, kind of surreal idea. Get on the plane thinking I'm just going to be traveling and then I meet this guy, both army guys, both yeah. of the states, both studied, well he's studying now, I've studied psychology, you know, grad school, all that good stuff, so yeah. I really appreciate this, you know, experience man. And, and meeting you too, so. Thanks. Yeah, we're at this, uh, you know, is this a steak? Steakhouse or what would it be considered? This? Yeah, it's a steakhouse. Oh, okay, yeah, so picanha. got some picanha. I believe or churrasco, as they say. Yeah, it was like it's the same. Same similar. idea with yuca fries, or is this like? Yeah, these are yuca fries. Super, super cool. Buen provecho. <laughs> Welcome to Poblado. Poblado. And Poblado just got off the train. Got off the train station in Colombia. I just love these views, man. These views look beautiful. All right, so this is where we get to the end of the strip, where you get the metro station. Are you at the metro station? It's right here. This is the metro. Right here is the metro, down the strip in La Redes.
Welcome to Colombia. I'm in Poblado, a different section of uh, a different section of, of of Medellin. This spot is just as live and loud and lit up as many places that you would want to know about. So just let you know, my friends, that Medellin is fucking live, bro. I didn't even think that this is what it would be, but fucking Medellin is fucking amazing. It's live, it's crazy, it's super awesome, dudes. Dudes and dudettes. Maybe we should get a little more taste of it, but this is your boy, chill. Wow, it's seriously a lively place. If you wanna know about it, this is where it is. Medellin, Colombia, Medellin. That's right, Colombia, man, they don't play games. Everybody's out here, it's live, and uh, a lot of great things going on right now, so chill. All right, so we're here in a nice, crazy spot, pretty busy at night with these guys over here. Uh, we're in Poblado, this is Poblado, I, can know, I, don't, I know it's Poblado. I know, this is uh, Provenza. But it's in Poblado though, right? Because we had that steak over there. It's on the Poblado street, but it's called Provenza. Oh. Because Poblado is where all the prostitutes hang out. Wow. Oh, this is the place I've been seeing on all the fucking vlogs. Wow. Street food. On a rainy day, it's raining today. place in Poblano. I'm not gonna say it's a center but like obviously there's a lot of uh, this is what you see typically a nice looking restaurants obviously with USD uh, United States money everything's always cheaper uh, but uh, yeah here's a little vibe here I want to give you guys a little vibe a little vibe of the streets called Patios Patio Top over here
Wow. There you go. Yeah, I've been doing that with my breakfast. Because mm -hmm. I, I went shopping at a supermarket and just, you know, decided to do breakfast at home. Yeah. 33, what is this, again, equivalent to USD? 33,000. It's like $8. You get soup, you get a uh, main, you know, meat dish, uh, you get a drink, and then also a dessert for 33,000 uh, pesos. This is the strip here, one of the strips. Puedes sobrevivir solamente hablando en español. Sí. Freaking the views, man, the views. Just the views are just amazing, and I know I just keep showing it, but from different angles. But just civilization, and then everything that's built over these mountains and hills and whatever it's just super 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 cool super cool let's get a little
before I head back to your wonderful United States. This is airport food, but uh, this is wonderful to see. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say is that I'm super happy to be having this food before I leave. Um, yeah, man. Unfortunately, we're going back to America. Don't want to go back. Chill. Wow. Mira este visto. Tú tienes una buen, buena tierra. for the night we have this nice little brownie dish here we have the brownie the marshmallow and then the ice cream underneath it finishing it with a nice little merlot merlot and the brownie ice cream when pro show. I also want to show you can lift it up this what's inside of there it's like pulled pork cheese on top of a cast iron super cool Has a lot of cheese, some plantains, some meat somewhere in there, and that's it. That's my meals. This next one is like chicharron, which is called like it's kind of like pork belly, little sauce, some fries. So here's one of the first dishes here. It's, called, it's like empanadas. I think this one has chicken in it. Some dips on the side. And then of course my drinks. So here's the drink right here, which is super cool that they do. They put a marshmallow in it. It has a nice little touch, but it's a whiskey drink. It's really cool. Love it. It's a high class place. See, in Boston, this would be obviously the typical thing. But this is Colombia where you only pay like 20 or 30 you know, I'll show you the numbers, but here we go. Guys, I just want to tell you, man, I'm out for my last night here in uh, Medellin. And for the fact that I have United States dollars, my God, I'm eating at a nice expensive restaurant. I'm going to show you some stuff. But the fact that I can eat very liberally, I can pay for things very liberally with my American money, dude. I'm just eating like a king. And the funny thing is that the um, they position the menus saying stuff like rey, el rey, reina, saying king and queen and all that stuff like that. But nevertheless though, like I ate here before and the food was pretty good. So I'm super excited to be fucking eating the foods here. Uh, eating the foods here, it sound like my, my, my family. Eating the eating food here. Um, yeah man, I'm super excited dude. I've been eating and yeah, I've been this whole time, <laughs> this whole past week, I've been like this in Medellin, just eating and drinking it up, como un rey, like a king. But uh, I'm gonna show it to you guys, see what you guys get to see. But uh, it's funny because the prices say like 43, which is funny because in America, when you see 43, it's literally 43 US dollars, but in Medellin, it's 43,000 pesos, 43 whatever pesos which is literally nothing we're gonna put some numbers here just so you guys can see what I'm dealing with but when you see prices like that and I have a lot of thousands of pesos uh, I'm gonna I'm getting I'm getting top quality stuff tonight so we're getting two appetizers got a nice little cocktail drink and then also we're gonna finish it off with a nice big meal big uh, entree because we're gonna do it like that we're gonna eat like a darn king probably even finish it off with a dessert here you know i just wanted to dress up a little bit you know dress up for columbia like not like boston because i know boston you know we, it's a little it's a little there's so much to be said in columbia me dressing like this that's the only reason why i'm only hanging out in areas like this because if i went deeper into medellin dude i'm a target so again um yeah i'm a target in medellin if i dress up this right here is enough a watch with a button-up shirt some loafers some brown loafers um it's a lot uh, but in this area is pretty cool so uh, again i like this area i'm in laureles you know um it's definitely upscale um and it's also a lot of uh, tourists here as well if not like high class colombians that live here uh, 
But if you go down the street a little bit more in La Reles, you'll find that it's like Las Vegas and you'll get like any kind of level of person here. You know, unfortunately you get obviously the homeless to the poor, to the hustlers who are hustling you for whether it's X work or, um, uh, for, or anything else they're selling, even candies, <laughs> which who knows what the hell that is, or even party favors, if you know what that means, party favors. Um, um, so if you walk down the street a little more, it, you're in like Las Vegas. But up here, it's quieter. As much as you're hearing people yell, uh, laughing and talking, it's literally a quiet place. Because I'll show you those videos again. Walking down La Reles, down that main strip, poof, it's loud. It's, uh, it's sensory overload between the lights blinking and the loud music and every restaurant trying to get you in there. It's just sensory overload. But here it's quiet. Contrary to your belief right now and your perceptions of what you're hearing right now, it's quiet. Right now, just at this moment, it's loud, but normally it's quiet. Um, and it's upscale, and I like it. And I didn't want to walk down this street, you know, I didn't want to walk past my neighbor, the neighborhood that I'm in right now in this kind of outfit with the button-up shirt, you know, it's a nice button-up shirt, especially for Colombia, it's very nice with the watch right here. And people are like, oh, that must be an expensive watch. It's not an expensive watch. It's only a $200 watch. And I know to some people, be like, oh, shit, that's a lot of money. I mean, come on, man. I'm seeing $1,000 watches. That's the first level. And that's like nothing. I see $10,000 watches. People wearing fucking houses on their wrist. $100,000 watches. $1 million watches. Now, that's freaking high level. If your watch is as much as a car, as much as like a Honda, that's expensive, okay? A watch. A, a little piece on your fucking wrist. If your watch is as much as a cheap house in Delaware, which AKA a hundred thousand minimum, two hundred thousand minimum. If your watch is two hundred thousand dollars minimum, you got an expensive watch. If your watch is as much as a Porsche, as much as a Ferrari, if it's as much, even as a freaking mansion, now you know that's what I'm talking about. This right here is small time, okay? But in Colombia, it's big because it does look nice. It has a nice face on it. But yeah, again, I'm ready and excited to show off some video uh, videos. Well, all the videos that I'm going to be leaking out. Uh, so definitely check them out. But I'm also excited to uh, show you the food that I'm going to eat tonight. Because tonight I'm eating like a king. Eating my thing and then go back to my Airbnb. Finish off this night wonderfully. Love you guys. What's up, peoples? I'm here in Colombia having some food. My first start of the food here. There we go. Got the lights here. And I didn't know that all these lights would be on, but uh, we did it. There we go. It's called Rey de. I forget what it's called, but I'm gonna put it here for whatever. So I'm gonna do one of these here. I just want to show you this stuff. It was a marshmallow. It had whiskey in it. So I said, let me get it because it has whiskey in it. So we have the package as a total. We got this. The steak. Sides. Fries. I forget what this is over here. But uh, there's the foods. They're foods.